Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to my channel raw electron today i am here with another video today i will explain this xl4015 step down buck converter module it is a step down dc to dc converter module with a input voltage of about 5 volts to 35 volt dc and it will give you about 1.25 to 32 volt constant voltage regulated and it can handle maximum load of 5 amps so let's start working today i will discuss about his work it's working as a constant current led driver so please watch my previous video in which i have explained it uh, from start its output voltage and its input and other testing and working so let's start as a making it as a current constant current led driver here for connections here's the input positive and input negative for connections i am using this dc barrel jack to make secure connections red for positive and black for negative man let's tighten this so for its input voltage i am taking a 12 volt charger which already i already connected so there yeah you can this you can see this the module is on now so let's check the voltage input voltage and output voltage so for this we need a multimeter set it on 20 volt input So you can check that output voltage is 11.3 volts you can i can i will test input voltage is 12.39 i am powering this powering this module with 12.39 input volts so output is 11 volts so i will test the led strip for example here's the led strip it's a 12 volt led strip so we have to make sure that every led operates on constant current requirements means every led have its own current limit voltage current limit and operating voltage so we have to check this before means this led strip at 11 volts it can uh, easily take about one amp ampere so i will may i will i will make sure that the current setting of this module will not exceed about one ampere for current testing we have to set the multimeter at current mode this 10 amps so when we connect the ammeter to its output volts let's to the 10 ampere now the m m meter multimeter was set to current mode and now if we connect the probes to its output in current mode you can see that led blinks ping pong ping pong ping pong so now it's set on current mode so by holding the probes i have to set the current with this this is this is for voltage and this is for current now i set the current for example to if we rotate it to clockwise it will increase the current and if we rotate it anti-clockwise it will decrease the current for example i have set it to one ampere as this led strip needs 11 to 12 volts at one ampere oh i forget to connect these connectors so i forgot to connect these alligator clips look look these alligator clips are scary man i have connected this so i set the voltage to 11 volts and current to 1 ampere output max so i will test this led strip now let's connect As you can see that this LED strip is glowing man. 
and if we slowly increase the current by rotating this no we can see the increased brightness of it but please make sure that every led has its requirement of current and voltage so don't overdrive the led otherwise it will blow up or reduces its lifespan so by rotating the current potentiometer the brightness of the led drops now if we if i increase it the increasing current increases the brightness of the led yes you can see that now i will test another led which requires lower voltage here i am testing this this is the local cree xml led 5 to 10 watts rating at maximum 3.7 volts 3.7 to 3.8 volts it operates on maximum maximum we can give 3 ampere to it at 4 to 5 amps it can blow up so let's test it so for again i have to lower the voltage to 3.7 volts and set the current to maximum 3 amps so output voltage is 11.32 i have to set it to 3.8 volts slowly decreasing voltage for no 3.86 yeah 3.7 it's okay now next i have to set it the i have to set the current man. Set on 0 0.49 amps. I will increase it to 3 amps almost. Yes, three amp. Now, now this LED is not connected to any heat sink. Let's try it. Yes, you can check this. This LED is glowing. Oh my God, it's turning so hot because I am driving it over. I am giving this LED over current and is its heat sink is not connected so let's test it again Yes, you can see it's overheating, man. Please make sure to check the current. Now, man, it's gone. LED is gone. You can check this. LED is gone. Please make sure not to do this. Otherwise, your LEDs will blow up. Look at this melting LED, man. Check this. Oh my God, it's unsoldered from its board. So please make sure not to overdrive your LEDs and set the proper parameters of current and voltage of your current so if you have any questions about its working one comment i'm please make sure this is for voltage potentiometer this is the voltage potentiometer and this is current potentiometer the maximum load it can handle of 5 ampere total output power if we can say that of 75 watts it can operate max if you can also add a heat sink to this ic at maximum power it can maximum deliver 
uh, at best it can 60 to 65 watts we would not have to overdrive this so i will make another video about how to use this module as a battery charger today i have discussed about its constant current led driver in the next video i will discuss about its uh, that how you can use this as a battery charger hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section bye bye